Good morning, you guys. Welcome to the Wanda Family Vlog. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you what we have been working on in the RV for the walls. So I'm super excited about this. I actually haven't seen anyone do this for um, RV remodels, but I think it's going to come out really, really good. Um, one wall is actually already done, and I love it. I think it looks so good. Um, so basically, we were just going to paint all of the walls white. Um, but when we took off the wallpaper from the walls, we discovered there was actually a lot of water damage we didn't know about. Um, the wallpaper just hit it really, really well. So Corbin's over here trying to get off. Well, he's getting that off, but he was doing some demo. Basically, look, it's all the way down to like the metal. So that's not good. Um, we've coated it to protect it with just like a primer. We were taking off as much rotted wood as possible. Um, but we can't really paint it because it's in really bad shape. So we could just do new plywood on the sides of the walls. But we actually had a really good idea. It's Corbin's idea to do beadboard. And it looks so good. So we've done this side. Check it out. Look how good that looks. I love it. It just makes it look so cozy in here. I really, really like it. So we're doing beadboard. Corbin has been measuring and cutting and applying the beadboard to the walls. We have this wall done. Um, we also have one little wall done in Junie's little section. So we're gonna do beadboard in the bedrooms, like the main bedroom and Junie's little bedroom. And then we're gonna do something a little bit different and the dinette because the dinette also has quite a bit of damage, but we don't want to do beadboard everywhere. I just think it'll be too much. So we're going to do something else here. We'll have to show you about what that is, but yeah, it's looking so good. So here's Junie's. It's not quite done. Junie's section looks so good. So it'll be here. It'll be over there and it'll be in the back room on all the walls. I'm loving it. So that's the big project we're working on. We're trying to get all the walls done because we're supposed to be going on a trip in just a couple days. Obviously we can't really go when the RV is like this, a total disaster. So we're trying so hard to get all the walls done so we can go on our trip. Do my chores. Can you, can you help me do my chores? Okay, help me do my chores. That's the maybe one. So, I got you ready. Good job watching me. I am about to start on the next panel, so I figured I'd just show you how to do it in case you guys are interested, whoever has RVs out there and want to do a remodel. So, what I had in mind, I had never seen this in an RV before, but using beadboard, um, I tried searching online for it and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I was like, let's just try it. Let's be the first. Let's be the guinea pigs. Um, so I don't know if it holds up. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, but it looks really good. Um, so basically you can get huge sheets of beadboard at Lowe's um, and then you cut it up and you butt it up into each other. So like this is actually two pieces of beadboard. There's a, pe a line right here, but it's camouflaged because of the beads. So I'm about to do this big wall. And in order to do it, it's a little difficult. You have to take off the window frame, obviously make sure all the damaged wall is gone, the rotted wood. Um, we spray it with a mold killer and then we sealed it with a primer wherever like the big moldy places were. Um, and then I measure and measure and measure and measure. So this is gonna be two pieces since the sheets are 48 inches wide that goes to about this line right here. Um, so I got to make a sh sheet that goes like that and then I'll butt up the next one right there. And then this one could be just one piece. Um, and then, so yeah, so I'm going to take the measurements, do my first cut. I basically, I measure, well, the 40, the sheets are 48, so I don't have to measure that, but I measure the width and the height. And then I make that into a square and then I actually cut out the window. I measure the window, place it on the back side of the beadboard because you always want to cut 
front side down so that the cuts are cleaner. Um, and then I make the cuts and then I place it and to install it onto the wall, I actually, I'm using liquid nails on the back just to tack it in. And then you can use finishing nails. There's actually finishing nails on this, but they're under the window frame so you can't see them. Um, so just tiny little finishing nails into the wood paneling. And then um, the window frame also helps keep it on because the window frame is compressed with screws um, on the whole uh, wall of the RV. So that's kind of my process. This wall took me about two hours because I had to do all the different measurements. Um, it does take a little bit. I would say I'm averaging like an hour and a half to two hours per wall. Um, but that's, I'm, this is my first time doing it. This is my first time actually like cutting big sheets. I had to go out and buy, um, a circular, a circular saw, a skill saw, and then I'm using a, um, a scrolling saw just to make the curve of the window so i think it's coming out pretty good it looks super unique i haven't seen it in an rv it makes it way more homey um so yeah the beadboard it's about 20 dollars a sheet and the sheets are four by eight so it's really not that bad if you want don't want to paint like we're not painting it so we're saving that money um, we're gonna we would have to buy plywood anyway, so it actually might be cheaper than buying the plywood and then all the paint So and then all the gear for the paint But if you don't have a saw like I do then I had to buy the saw so that adds to expense. So it's really I don't know. It might be a toss-up if you have a saw it would be cheaper if you already have paint that might be cheaper So yeah, so for this wall for example, I am measuring from this to this and then that to that. Then I make the uh, then I make the cut to fit that size, and then I come back in, lay the board so that I don't get confused, and I measure how big the window is. And then I made a template for this curve, so I just put the curve. I make all the lines all the way across the board, so I know where the square of the window is, and then I make the curve in between the lines that go all the way across the board. I literally worked for um, 13, 14 hours yesterday on the RV and got all the walls done, all the beadboard done. I have one more wall to do, but it's not beadboard. It's a uh, plastic wall coating. Um, also did some blinds. So here is a before and after of the bedroom. came out really good I'm super happy about it we got blackout blinds that um, aren't like the metal noisy blinds for when the kids are sleeping um, and yeah oh yeah I also the beadboard up here is done in Junie's bedroom so there's that side and then that side is done as well so I'm pretty happy with how it came out it was a lot of work took pretty much a day and a half um but yeah now today i am tackling this wall and just like that it was finished looks so freaking good i trimmed it a little short right here but other than that looks really good that is called um poly wall and it's like the texture of a painted wood um, but it's uh, waterproof and it can just wipe clean and it's super durable and super easy to clean. I just stuck it on there with some FRP adhesive, fiberglass um, reinforced adhesive. So um, I just troweled it on, stuck it up there. It was, it's kind of hard to vlog while you're doing this because I'm like using both my hands and um, it was just super messy and time time sensitive because the adhesive would start to dry so I just did it really fast but it came out really good um that is pretty much it for what I need to do before our trip so I am pretty sure 
I got it done. And honestly, I got to say, this is starting to look like a pretty dang good wander wagon. I feel like I could live in this again. So maybe we'll do more road life soon. <laughs> but be sure to like today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let us know in the comments what you guys think of the remodel, how it's going. Still not finished, obviously, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Next, I think, is going to be the kitchen. So the kitchen and the bathroom. The bathroom's like all the same from when we bought it and the kitchen is too. So excited to do those.